Hey, what's up? It's your girl Tiffany Evans. Look out for the re-release of my EP All Me and my video for my single on site featuring Fetty Wap. You are watching Stuff Fly People Like TV. Um, pretty much I've, I've been, you know, just getting everything together um, musically and making sure that I have found me, Tiffany, as an artist and um, I think I, I've had some success with that with my new EP, All Me. I'm actually working on a re-release for my EP, All Me. And so we're gonna do a couple of remixes, um, maybe add some more features and some new music. Um, so it's just gonna be, it's just expect everything. You know, I'm into everything. I really don't like to box myself in. I can do country, I can do pop, not that I would do country right now, but I can do all the things that I feel like, you know, I wanna do in that moment. So it's gonna be pretty much the same vibe that you hear now, but on another level. Well, you know what? When I recorded my EP All Me, it actually was not um, difficult at all. I was pregnant. I thought it was gonna be difficult, um, but I was pregnant the whole time. And, um, I was just really confident and very, very inspired um, during that whole time. So music, uh, writing and all of that, it just kind of just flowed naturally. And we actually got it done within three or four months and mixed mastered and it was it was amazing. So I'm, I'm happy about the whole process. Well, the collaboration between me and Fetty Wap, um, you know it was very easy actually i it was sort of like one of those moments where you're like okay i didn't expect this to happen um it was so it was just not i didn't have to go through the regular you know way you know hit up the manager you know all of that my friend Brittany, she connected the whole thing she hit me up one day and she said look i think it would be so dope for you to do a record with fetty wap um and I was like, yeah, you know, he has, he has a dope tone. Like, he's cool. Like, his swag is cool. So, you know, I could see that one day happening. Maybe not right now because, you know, he might charge me. And I, I don't know. But um, <laughs> she actually connected it. And um, he heard the record on site. And he loved it. My family, they have been really uh, supportive of the whole process. Um, and they you know my daughter she actually my husband he was out of town he was touring um and it was just me and my daughter in atlanta when i was recording so i would have to take her to the studio with me being pregnant and you know it was challenging but it was really she was really enjoying you know the that whole moment watching me you know go through my um my writing process and you know the recording process she just loves everything like that well, you know, I took time off because before I had a family, um, I, I had been in this business since I was nine years old. And so at that point, I was just like, okay, I need to know more information than I know now, you know, because I don't need to be 19, 18, 20 years old and people are still taking advantage of me. Um, so, and it really, I, I wanted to make sure that I developed Tiffany, you know, like I've figured out, okay, this is the type of music I like to make. This is how I like to wear my hair. You know, I had to go through that whole process. And sometimes, you know, a disconnection is, is needed for you to kind of find yourself again. Am I making sense? So that's pretty much the reason why. The last time I spoke to Sierra was years ago um, when I came down to Atlanta. Um, and then after that, we kind of just, you know, lost contact but I'm happy for her being engaged you know I think that's a beautiful thing and you know I, I love love so when I see people being in love I think it's I think it's awesome I would describe my style as sexy laid back and cool you know because some days I just I'll throw on a fedora and a long little trench and some jeans and some you know, sneakers and kind of just call it a day. I'm not really, just as long as my face is beat. That's the whole point of the, 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 the style thing for me. Your face has to be beat, your hair has to be done and whatever else, you know, kind of comes natural after that. <laughs> Ooh, if I want to honor
Anna Patti LaBelle was. You know what? I would sing If You Only Knew. It's a pretty hard song to sing though. And I would have to do it right. <laughs> but that's one of my favorite songs from her. I think, you know, maybe fall in love with her. <laughs>